Hello, Debbie here from Barossa Valley Crafts. So today we're going to do a card. Oh, I had fun trying to work out how to do this, but I finally got there. So I'm going to call it a jigsaw gatefold card. And it looks like that from the front. And when you open it, it opens like that. So that's where the jigsaw part comes in because it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle putting it together. But when it opens out, you put your greetings in the centre if you want to. If you didn't want to do that, if you wanted to just decorate there and you can always put your greetings on the back if you wanted to. But it's a bit of a fun card. So this one I've done is like suitable for a male. And I did another one here to do as a Christmas card. So again, it opens like that. So just something a little bit of fun bit different and again you don't need any special tools to make this just a ruler a non-working biro and some scissors if you've got it but if you have got a scoreboard and things that will make it a bit easier so let me show you how I've done this one so to start off with um, I'm going to use my scoreboard only because it makes it a bit quicker for me to do things your base card is 12 inches by five and a quarter inches so now on the 12 inch side if you don't have a scoreboard with a, a ruler and a pencil measure at two inches four inches eight inches and ten inches on either end or either side I should say and then using your ruler and your scoring tool just score it between those marks so for those of you that have got a scoreboard you score at two four eight and ten inches so that is then your base so I'll just pop that out of the way now for your mats and layers, so to start off with, so this piece here, so your mat layer, so I'm doing that in a um, foil card for this one, so it's five inches by three and three quarter inches, and that one will go there. I'm just going to flip it over for now so you don't get dazzled by the light shining on it and your top layer will be four and three quarter by three and a half inches and that will sit on top of there like so and then you will also need again I'm using mirror cards so I'm just going to flip that over so you don't get shine in your from the camera so that's these pieces here so you cut two pieces that are three and three quarter inches long by one and a half inches wide so you get two of those and one piece three and three quarter inches wide sorry long by one and three quarter inches wide so you get that'll give you three pieces now they will lay at the top bottom and middle on the front now for the top layer so this one is an off cut I've got from um, another card that I made but you need a piece that's four inches by three and a half inches and then once you've got that again if you don't have uh, cutting tools with a ruler measure one and a half inches oh, sorry one and a quarter inches from the bottom and one and a quarter inches from the top 
and then we're going to cut along those lines. So we're going to cut one and a quarter inches from the bottom and one, so rotate it, then cut one and a quarter inches from the top. Yeah. If you've got a pattern paper where direction doesn't matter, then that's fine. But when you've got it so you want it to look matching up, that's when you need to make sure you rotate it so that you have, when you've cut it all out, your top piece will fit on your top mat, the bottom one on the bottom mat, and then the centre one, which is a little bit wider, will fit on the centre mat, and the picture will still line up. So hopefully that all makes sense. Okay, so I've actually done that again, but in a different uh, picture because I meant to leave this uncut to show you for the demonstration and you know, I just cut it and never mind that's why I did the other one to show you how to cut it so I'll just say it again when you've got your piece like this cut one and a quarter inches from the top of the card and one and a quarter inches from the bottom of the card so that your picture will still match up Okay, so now we're going to put it together. So we'll start off by putting the mats and layers in the front centre. Um, so I'm using double-sided adhesive here. You can use glue if you prefer, but because I'm using a mirror card, the um, double-sided tape is better because with glue... Once it's dry, you can often see, like if you zigzag your glue underneath, you will be able to see that zigzag when it's dry, which isn't so critical when you're... Um, oh, I thought, oh, did I get it all? Ah, yes, there was one piece I forgot to take off. Um, when you're putting a, a, mat layer, a top layer over the mat card, it's not that bad. You're not going to necessarily see it. But when you're using mirror card, use double-sided adhesive for your top layer. Because it's uh, non-porous, if you only use um, glue, once it dries, it can actually pop off the mirror card. So some call it mirror, some call it um, foil. So same thing, different name. So then we'll just pop that in place. Move that piece and that piece. Then we'll just do the other corner. There we go. And you, obviously if you wanted to, you could, um, if you wanted to put a stamp a greeting on here, you would stamp it before you stick it down just to make it a bit easier to do. Now, where we've got our score lines in here, we're going to fold the one next to the centres, we're going to fold in on that score line. So that will be a heel fold. And then we're going to flip the other one back on the other score line. So that will become a valley fold. And then we'll do the same on the other side, fold it in, and then fold it back on itself. I've got the other one with it. And if you've got a burnishing tool, give it a good burnish so that it helps it sit a bit better. So just burnish your folds. Just move that one in a bit. I didn't quite fold it on the line there. So where we do what we call a little bit of fudging to make it fit better. Okay, so that's that done. So now we'll just pop that aside. Now we're going to attach 
the front layer to the matte cards for the front. So you have your smaller ones top and bottom and the bigger one in the middle. So obviously when that was joined, it was a Christmas tree like that. So I've cut one and a quarter inches off there. Uh, yeah, and one and a quarter inches off that one. And then that will leave us with this one, which should be one and a half inches. I'll just check. So that is one and a quarter. And the bottom one is one and a quarter. So now we'll just attach those to the matching matte layers. And you've got to be careful with this tape. Once it sticks, it sticks. While I'm doing this, um, if you're interested, I do have a couple of Facebook pages. One is called Card Making for Beginners and Beyond. And the other one is called Barossa Valley Crafts. You're more than welcome to come and join if you like. Um, I'll add links in the description to the groups. You can share your work with like-minded people. It doesn't have to be what I've done in tutorials. We're not limited to brands. Do anything you like. Okay, so once we've done that, we then work out where we're putting them on here. So the top one will obviously go at the top, the bottom one at the bottom, and the other one in the middle. Now, you don't want glue all the way across. So if you work out where it's going to go, if you flip it over, so you want to try and get an even border on each side and the top. And there's your join line there for your gatefold. So just inside that, just put a little mark so you know not to put glue past that line. And the same for this one. But that's going to go on the opposite side. And then your third one going to go on the left again so now if we flip them back and we'll start putting them together so I'm going to I'll do this with glue so I'm just using art glitter glue at the moment so just putting the glue on here because I've got the matte layer on the front, the top layer on the front, you shouldn't see the glue. Uh, it's not going to work. I've let the lid off before. It must have dried out. That's all right. We'll go back to the double-sided tape. So we're just going to cut a piece of tape off. Put it on there. And then we'll put that piece in place. So again, when you're putting your tape on, make sure it doesn't go over this side. And then we'll do the bottom one next. If you do the top and the bottom, then you know when you put your middle one in, you can line it up to be equally spaced. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not in the camera there. I'll just put a bit of tape on there. And we'll line that one. to go in place at the bottom and then the top one we're going to do on the opposite side so we'll put a bit of tape on there I've gone over a bit but that's okay you can fold it back onto itself and then that one lining it up so you've got an equal sort of space between the two in front Top and bottom, sorry. And oh, probably could have gone over a bit. I think I've stuck it down. That's not going to lift off. Oh, yep. I'll be able to get it off. Yep, I didn't have it down enough. That was good. So we'll just line up the edge there. press it down and that's the card done how's that 
I think it looks pretty specky. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Anyway, look, I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, give me the thumbs up and please feel free to come and join us on the Facebook group if you like. So, so that's how it will look from the top and the front. And as I said before, if you prefer, you can decorate inside and do your greetings on the back or you can have it on the front when I open it. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, please feel free to come and join us on um, the Facebook group to come and share your creations. Thank you for joining me. Bye.